ومنهم من وضع مكافآت لاستهدافي وبعض هذه الرسائل كانت تتناول موضوع اختطافي وقتلي و This former colonel from the Saudi police is holed up in London after quitting his job in protest and seeking asylum in the UK. He has been making videos on TikTok that regularly get more than a million views. But he's scared for his life because online trolls have put a price on his head. Rabah Alanezi made his first announcement soon after arriving in London. أنا العقيد رابح العنزي من جهاز الأمن العام وهذه هويتي. He started doing regular live streams on TikTok. He focused on topics like the alleged use of torture in Saudi prisons and calling for war crimes prosecution of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. One day he started a live from a restaurant. Among his 5,000 viewers that day was the owner of this Twitter account. I'm following his live, he warned. Give me a few minutes and I'll get him kicked out. And a few minutes later, <laughs> Fahad bin Satam started hounding Alanezi online. He posted screen grabs of the interior of Alanezi's residence with this message. 10,000 Saudi rials will be awarded to whoever finds the location of this person, he wrote. He's renting a studio in London, probably near Kensington. His followers sent in possible locations. They managed to track him down twice, posting his address on Twitter. He received hundreds of threats. One person writing, you won't get away with this, I'm coming for you in London. And he also received hundreds of messages praising Saudi Arabia's crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. So who is Fahad bin Satam? The account disappeared after articles like ours started appearing in the press. But here is what it looked like. A profile picture from an archive. A bio describing someone who's a Twitter investigator and passionate Saudi and an email address for info about the Saudi opposition. Abdullah Alauda, who defends the rights of Saudi dissidents in the US, believes the reactions to Rabah Alanezi's posts are the work of an organized army of Saudi trolls. المهمات هذا الجيش تي تتلخص في التالي اولا هو الترويج للاجندات الحكوميه المباشره الترويج لصور الشخصيات بالاهم صوره شخصيه محمد بن سلمان الشيء الاخر اللي يفعلونه ايضا وانهم يعطون مؤشر وانطباع للقارئ العام هذا هو الشعب السعودي وهذا هو وهذه هي رغبته بانه يحب قيادته المهمه الثالثه هو ملاحقة وتتبع كل من تسوي له نفسه نقد الحكومة السعودية. While awaiting a decision on his asylum request, Alanezi has asked for protection from the British police.